Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses Blind. Last time we, um, we ran into a death knight. That was a, um, an adventure, if that is the correct term we would use for a situation where you sacrifice, what was it, three of my units? Three of my units, I think, in order to take him down. But hey, we got the Dark Seal. There is that. <laughs> um, beyond that, we found a sword in a tomb, and that's pretty much it. Um, I do need some feedback from you guys, if you don't mind. If you can let me know if um, me reporting all the you know major kills and level ups is is okay. Um, if you think that I'm just doing way too much cutting in, where there's just a bunch of extra scenes in these battles that you really don't need to know about or you don't really care about, let me know. Uh, the less editing I have to do, the better, honestly, but I wanted to make sure that all significant duels on the battlefield were recorded appropriately, as well as level up, so you know what's going on with my party. Um, yeah, so just let me know if you could. I'd appreciate it. In the meantime, we're going to hop right back in and see what's going on with this Sword of the Creator. Uh, we already did that. Adjutants. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Yay, everyone's going to get put to death, aren't they? Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. Yep. When you put it down on paper, it doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> it is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. What? You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. Okay. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the goddess. Hang, hang on. Wait, all right, hang on a second. Are we seriously just going to let these guys get killed for religious zealotry or whatever this is? Um, some kind of... Uh, like, if they, have, if they have information, should we not be getting that information from them? I don't understand why we would just immediately be like, Hey, guys. You're bad, so we're going to kill you. Instead of being like, hey guys, you're bad. Why are you bad? You know? Wait. Please. The goddess would never forgive you for our execution. Yikes. That's blasphemy if I've never heard it. <laughs> if I've ever heard it. Uh, she is not going to treat you very well for that. Monster. We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. What investigation? Are you... Rhea? Rhea. Rhea. We need to have words. We need to have words, my dear. I really think this is going to your head. Or at least your headdress. Because it's pretty big. Yeah. You you get her, Edelgard, with your ellipsis. That's probably what what Jackson would be doing as well right now. That's that, I suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It was all the Western Church's doing. That masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. Are we talking about the Death Knight? The Church of Saros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the Bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the Church being ruled centrally from Garig Mach. 
Perhaps they hope to remove the Archbishop in order to completely strip the Central Church of its authority. That's right. Geralt mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Saros is split into several smaller entities. The central church is the largest, and leads the organization from Garig Mach. Okay. The western church extends from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato rebelled into the far west. Oh, I see. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the kingdom, the fortress city of Arian Road. It seems the knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. We may be given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think, our own professor was born in Fodlan, and yet knew nothing of the Church. <laughs> I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. You're something of a special case, are you not? I'm definitely special. <laughs> With quotation marks. How strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to that decision than we know. Yeah, I had an argument against it when she was trying to hire a mercenary in the first place. Regardless of, you know, that particular person's knowledge of the church, they live their life as a mercenary. Grabbing them and immediately put them at the service of, of their students to teach? I don't think it was a wise decision. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes. But to execute that whole group just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. Gaspar, have you been hearing her words? This whole time, she keeps talking about raising a sword against a church, lifting an eyebrow at the church, passing a fart at the church. They're all put to death. I might have made up the other two. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us. We would die. There you go, Bernadetta. We would die. Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? Nope. Nope. There you are, Professor. Nope. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Oh no. She knew what I was going to say. She's going to put me to death. Everyone, please save me. Apparently nobody saved me. I went. The Archbishop Whoa. lives. Hello. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news. Both good and bad. Okay. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Wait, how do you know that? The Death Knight? Is that how you know it? Well, the Death Knight was part of the, uh... Was, like, was part of a... a what was it? The Flame... The Flame Brigade? The Flame something? It was different from the Western Church. Hmm. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Yeah. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. I thought so. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Who? Okay, hang on. Are you, Do we have a mole in the organization? Like, who is this person? Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's Crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. 
As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. There you okay, okay. All right, I feel better now. So part of the, I keep thinking like the Flame Legion, but that's Guild Wars 2. Um, but Death Knight is under this person's command. Um, so yeah, I guess that's how they got that information. I feel a little bit better. I was a little concerned we had a mole in our ranks. We might still have a mole, but it, it very strongly just the Death Knight. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Who was that? I don't know. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the sword of the Creator. No problem, can I keep it? That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the church's possession. Oh, it's something really precious. I want to go stab people with it. Can I take it? It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please use it wisely. Hmm. You know, for someone who's so stuck on the whole Seros teachings, she gives us a lot of lax. Have you noticed that? She doesn't seem terribly concerned that we're not terribly communicative or knowledgeable or heck that we took a sword from <laughs> from, 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 from the there weren't any bones but just from the the, 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 the empty casket of Saros. you think she'd be a little upset about that it's curious Lady Rhea wait do you truly mean to give the sword of the creator to this stranger I know Sedith I was just asking the same thing she has a really weird exception when it comes to Jax here. Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Voldlin would be consumed by war. Who is Nemesis? Yeah, thank you. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. Okay. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the creator. Okay. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the king of liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. Mm. No, I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. What do you know, Rhea? What do you know that we don't? Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. Sorry, Sedeth. I don't know either. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. I mean... I wouldn't say they're confusing so much as vague and incomplete. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. I know! That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Is it my birthday? No, it's already been my birthday. I don't know. certainly is strange. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. Go on. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. 
Such as the one that... Oh, goodness, what was her name? Cat... Cat... Uh... <laughs> Go on, Morgana. <laughs> Catherine? Yes, her. The sword of the creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. Mm. I despise not knowing what is going on. It, it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Well, I can cut a path with 20 durability worth of a sword of the creator. See how far I get. Huzzah. Yay, we did it. Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. New Month! Tower of Black Winds. That sounds foreboding. Alright, tell me about the New Month. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Hmm. Neat. <laughs> well, it's the first of the month, so I think we need to go exploring, as per the usual. Not a whole lot to do here. There we go. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Ooh. Doobies. Nice! 5k! Wait, what? What? What's going on? I have a new mission for you, Professor. Oh! Sure. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lance of Ruin. Mm hmm. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. Hmm. Why was he disowned? I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. I'm rolling my eyes so hard right now. The crestless cannot unleash the goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. Okay. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. Great. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. Aru? Aru? Like... Like Catherine? Ooh. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. So what you're saying is don't ride it like a horse? Got it. I'm right there with you. Wasn't even considering it until now. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Maybe about my crest? Especially since I can wield the sword. He probably wants to know more about whatever he saw. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the sword of the creator. 
It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. Uh-huh. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. Even the most elite Imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. What are you getting at there, Edelgard? I have a feeling that we might end up having problems. So instead, why does it matter? I'm just marveling at the potential. Besides, your power does not lie solely in the sword of the creator. Oh, <laughs> you flatter me. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. <laughs> <coughs> Professor, when we leave the monastery, will you still think of yourself as my teacher? What? Uh, what? How? Why do you say that? If we left the monastery... Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. Yeah, you're not being very direct is the problem here, Edelgard. I'm assuming what you mean is at some point you might oppose the church, and you want to see if I would still consider you my student, and whether I would raise a sword against you or ally myself with you. That's my assumption. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Hmm. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Everyone wants to talk to me. Everyone! I would not be surprised if Cyril came around the corner going, Hey, Jackson, I got some hay to move. Can you get your help over here? Just grab a pitchfork, we'll have a good time. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. Go on. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. Hmm. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. That's interesting. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. Uh-huh. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. How curious. The crest of flames. That is what you possess. Ooh. What's that do? Your ability to wield the sword of the creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. Oh, because it has fire. I remember that. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. I'm so fancy with my fire. That was it? Oh. Hmm. Neat. Oh my gosh, what now? Oh, I am curious. Uh, uh, Bob, save. Oh boy. <laughs> Who could that be? A ghost, perhaps? No, that is surely not the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was on your mind. It wasn't on my mind until you put it there. No. Uh, huh? Who's there? Professor, what are you doing here? Looking for ghosts, apparently? Thanks. Thank you so much, Sothis. You're being so helpful right now. I wonder if... Your connection with the other two houses leaders involves Sothis as well. Hmm. I was restless, or I, I heard something. Oh? 
Perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Bad dreams. Ah, uh, so you heard me then. Yes, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Mm. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. Anything I can help with? No. They're just worthless dreams of the past. Talking about it won't change a thing. You can trust me with anything. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try. <laughs> but only if you swear not to tell a soul. So this? You're a ghost. Does that mean you're a soul as well? Ah, sure, here anyway. It doesn't matter. I appreciate it. I dream of my older brother, paralyzed, helpless. My older sister crying for help that never came. The youngest babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. Yikes. I once had ten siblings, eight older and two younger. Big family. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Uh, plague. Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. Uh, I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. Why? How could such a thing happen? Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. In the end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget, to never allow such terrible things to happen again. Never again. Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire. The future of the Empire, of everything, depends on me. Hmm. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I suppose. I've never told anyone about my past before. Please, forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. Well, hopefully she got some of her, uh, her concerns off her chest. Maybe she can get some proper sleep the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. That is rough. That is rough. It's Manuela's birthday. Um, you know what? We're gonna do a tea party. Tea party, tea party. Um, you learned two types of apples, Angelica tea. Thank you for your invitation. To what do I owe this surprise? Uh, here, have some tea. Thank you. Everything's a slightly different angle here. Smells lovely. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about capable comrades. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Strange fish in the pot. No. Frick. Oh. Look. <sighs> Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be waiting, Professor. Except the conversation, apparently. Like, lady, you're you're literally walking around with weapons of mass destruction on your chest. It's very, very difficult to actually have a conversation. Can you put those away for a little bit? I would appreciate it. Well, at least we got some bonus.
Huzzah! We're gonna explore. Anything else to do here? Um, Palace versus House Lance tournament. Hmm. I would like to explore. Okay. Hello, Sothis. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. I don't understand either. What are we talking about? Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, the good news is we're actually... Uh, oh my gosh, what is this support? What, what if I... Ha 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 Linhart. Edgar's got Ferdinand going on. Dorothea's got Linhart. Marianne's got Ferdinand. Oh my gosh, so much support to look after. Okay, well, we'll do that on our next episode. Well, thank you guys for coming by and watching this one. Uh, we got a lot of story dumped on us. It's more story than I'm used to, actually. It was kind of nice. I kind of liked it. But next time, we'll uh, we'll view those, those little sketches and go about and collect all the goodies around the monastery and well i guess move forward with the plot as we go along so until next time hopefully you guys are having a great day take care and i will catch you next time